Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the Cognizant SQL Technical Assessment and I will tell you how you should attend your assessment. So the first question will be easy and second question will be moderate and some of the time you can get uh, the complex, complex and difficult questions too. First you have to read the question carefully and identify the tables involved and the column that you have needed to import in the from section and condition or filters in the var classes for example if they giving uh, like a uh, find employees who earn more than uh, 5000 uh, you have to know some basic queries so in this video i'm going to add uh, the real question that is asked in cognizant and i will give you tips like uh, how you should solve the each questions so stay in this video until uh, we will discuss more about the SQL queries and how you should tackle it. So I will start from the basics. If you want, you can skip the base, basic and you can continue with the real time questions too. So the people who are aware, didn't aware of SQL, I will just give an intro about that. First, there will be a select from and where classes in select you have to display the column names and from the tables name you have to give and in where you have to give the conditions so keep it simple first then add the complexity if you needed some special keywords like distance order by group count sum and averages these kind of special keywords you have to see when you are attending for this sql query assessment so next step is the bonus step watch for a join see if multiple tables are given in uh, cognizant you will get a schema like there will be a questions uh, in left side and in right side there will be a database schema to view you have to view that and you have to answer that next we are getting into the videos that is actually asked in the cognizant assessment the first question will be easy and second question will be moderate we are going to discuss about the de detaily and if you want i will give this document uh, link in the description you can also download it so let me zoom this section the user id rating comments of the album which is rating 5 your output should be a three columns which is user id rating and common you can view the database schema by clicking the view schema on the tab so there will be option in the below right side the view schema you have to view that schema and you have to analyze the tables which are connected to each other and you have to write the query completely based on that so this is a simple query you have to select a user id rating and a comments and from the table which is known as album reviews where the rating should be equal to 5 this is an easy query that everyone can solve it moving to the next query uh, the album id tracking numbers title of a records with the word girl and some of uh, images are blurred because i can't get clear images from the peoples who have attended so please adjust that you have to uh, show three columns album id track number and title in select query you have to uh, put uh, album id track numbers and title Let next we will discuss about the answer for this question select album id track number title from the table known as track where title like they use the symbol of percentage to find the girl so next we have move on to the next question so let me zoom this question the name of each artist and number of followers who started following them in the year 2018 or later ensure all the artists from the artist table is included and show if an artist has no followers your output should have two columns artist name and the number of followers so with the answer i will explain you the questions they are saying that we have to select the role descriptions and the total users so the total users we have to use a function named as count 
count user id as total users from the table they are writing this query if you see this query it will be difficult to understand that i can't get the schema from the people who have written it so while writing you have to reference these kind of things i i can only sh share this answers only so please adjust this and uh, try to solve this questions based on this from the table contract role group by role descriptions having count user id is less than 2 so likewise you have to write a query so coming to the bonus step while writing the cognizant uh, examination the communications or any other aptitude round is not an elimination round in a cognizant all you need to do is don't use any ai if you use any ai for your code or any other technical assessment you are going to attend they will reject you completely even my friends who have did the five coding and sql2 to coding and html css javascript who have done all the parts with the help of any ai or something they will reject you completely and they don't even send you the regret mail whoever passed the technical assessment you will get the survey mail from the cognizant side they will tell you where your interview is going to happen there will be offline interview no online interview please note that if you using ai just use very limit like if write your own code if you get any mistake only use a at the particular time and then using completely your code is written by ai just note that you will completely rejected from their hiring so if you want a java coding questions or a python or c sharp any other cluster i will share you the questions even i have this question if this video reached more than 500 views i will definitely post technical